Hello everybody and good morning from the Philippines on this 23rd of March 2022. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me again and um, I have to say on this this is my last day of vacation in the Philippines getting ready to go back tomorrow head back to Germany to work and I'm gonna do one last walk around the house to get some videos on the progress being done here. Uh, my wife has decided to stay for a couple more weeks because the company that's doing the uh, railing on the balconies will start that supposed to be today. So she has graciously volunteered to supervise that and um, she's done a lot. She's done a lot here so far, even with this room, if I could show you here, let me flip the camera. So even the curtains, the first video I showed, there were no curtains on any of the windows. She went shopping, bought some curtain rods, and she bought these curtains. They didn't quite fit. She actually cut them and sewed them and kept little pieces to make more curtains. And, uh, she kind of put all that together, sewed it all by hand. The only place she has left to do is the bathroom. So from the first day we got here to the walls, this black trim around the walls wasn't there. This up there, we still haven't purchased lights yet, but that's to come. But we have air conditioning done. We moved some of the furniture up here that we had made out of a, what's called a Kama chili tree. So we moved some of it into the room. There's still more. This bed here is, well, all this furniture that was made from that tree we had in the yard is extremely heavy. So uh, it's not like in the movies. This chair, you can barely move it, so. And she had this made for me, by the way, with the nice wood design on it. Very nice. I see the flashlight is on, but that's good. The varnish on the wood. So like I was saying, uh, out here on this little balcony, they're going to extend this because it's almost like a little doorway. Some things to fix. And um, in the bathroom, she has had a few little clips. I think I showed this before, put here and there places. Hot water heater in. She's got the little brackets for the to hang the curtains. She's still sewing those. We just put some temporary stuff in here to have room to put things. And still, no main light. So, there's a few more things to do in here. I told I don't want really too much color in here. Like in the bedroom, it'll, oops, it'll make the room dark. So, I'm gonna go out here, show you what the workers are doing. I'm also trying to send her a whole bunch of photos before I take off tomorrow. But the internet is very slow. It's one reason why I haven't sent too many videos. It takes so long to upload a video here that it's unreal. So, just like, uh, well, like yesterday, I spent five, six hours just trying to upload a video. So, I'm kind of way behind, maybe about a week behind. So, I just saved everything to, to an external drive, label it for the day or whatever that event was. 
so I can keep track of it, what's going on. I want to go out and try to fly the drone one last time. Also to drain the batteries before I jump on the plane. So out here, I may have to have the workers turn down the music, but I will show you what's going on. So we're gonna start here and I'm upstairs in the house and uh, show everybody what's actually going on. Let's take a look at the stairs one more time. So there's the stairwell. I asked the workers if they could turn the music off just for a second. So we got a group of three, four guys that are doing a tremendous job. We got an electrician that's going around uh, fixing all the plugs, all the holes. So like you see right over there, there's that, like someone chiseled out. But yesterday on that one, he fixed that one up. So just need a little paint to touch it up. The guys that are doing the balcony upstairs will finish up these stairs also. Putting this glass protection on there. Let me go out through this way here. Show you. And we got a air conditioner installed here. We still have to get two more. And there's my man putting the flooring down on the uh, balcony up here. He's done a wonderful job. See? Remember it was all just uh, looked like a gravel road. But this is the master here. We're gonna get him on video. Look at him concentrating, working. <laughs> but I thank these guys. So once he's done his part, they'll be fixing up the railing. So, excuse me. <laughs> Don't wanna disturb them. But they do a wonderful job. So, this is a hallway, and this is the little entrance room. They put up the fake wall. I know I'm disturbing them. It's all right, you can go ahead and work. So he's trying to hide, but he's doing such a wonderful job painting. They're all shy. Hey, you're gonna be on YouTube. So I kind of, they act like they're embarrassed, but. So this is my daughter's bedroom. Still quite a bit of work. It's being done. Okay, I'm done. I'm finished. So you can play your music. <laughs> Thank you. So I don't want to disturb them. So we'll just cruise on downstairs. And my wife took the bedroom upstairs because she wants to enjoy walking down these stairs that she personally designed. So, there's a look back at the stairs. The place is very dusty, but she said we can get a cleaning team to come in and clean up everything. And this corner underneath the stairs, My idea is to put a, maybe a bar right in here or something, I don't know. But of course this yellow wall behind you separates half of the house. That's the other thing that has to come down to make one way. Hopefully she decides what we're gonna do for privacy for this big huge glass door that she wanted. So that's what my baby wanted and what curtains to put up in here on all the windows. And of course the doors back here. I'm gonna finish up this terrace on my son's room, which used to be our bedroom. He kind of commandeered it, but he likes it, so it's okay. 
I let him have my bedroom with a huge bathroom that's bigger than what we have upstairs. So you see what you do for kids? And I'm gonna try to get her to pay somebody to pick up all the uh, bags. There, the workers up there. Because our next big thing to do, which I told my wife is uh, start the fence, which that's gonna be a challenge because of these little houses built over here. But that's a fight for another day. So let me go look and see what my lovely bride is doing. So you see how we go through different parts of the house. We do have stairs inside that we can come down and She's talking to her sister. They're always, they're always talking. Talking, talking, talking. They never stop talking. As you can see, as you can listen in. <laughs> Hello. Well, I want to show because her sister is not dressed. So, don't want to put her on camera like that. So for my own benefit, let's just go walk outside, take a look at the street. Let's see how the village is doing. Uh oh, I hear a familiar voice following me. talking to her granddaughter. Lalin called her on the phone. I'm sure everybody would come by just to see me today. Mostly everybody. And here is a video of the old White House. Well, still call that. Where everybody used to come to was a mandatory stop when you came to the Philippines. Good memories there. And this is the street I live on. Turn with the house. Turn again the other way. So it's a beautiful day today. And I want to do a drone video of, of the house. Do a flight all the way around. And my wife's lovely garden. We actually got some bananas off of that. Can you bring me those bananas? The bananas? So I just want to show everybody the uh, bananas we, that my Ensign meeting cousin picked a couple days ago. So they were all green, a couple of them. Don't mind her, she loves to show off. So now they're pretty much all yellow. They taste very good. The exception of two are still green, but the rest are all yellow. That's how we do it when we cut the banana. You do this like this or like this. Look. Yeah, I don't think they put it on top of the head because we the, do that the, so. because they're, they're the stalk good. leaks a lot of water. No. It actually does. They do, but we still carry them like I would this think you would. like that. Like your head of course, would be, it's over there, so your the head, leak is all there. 
okay what she says but she would be very sticky and wet before it's over from all the water coming out of the stock it drips like a faucet so yeah banana plants are mostly water yeah i am proud of our senorita banana because it's from our backyard <laughs> or side yard or front yard whatever so, we haven't decided whatever on what it is. whatever no I'm wherever saying. And I'm very naive because I'm proud of this. Look, I'm overacting, maybe you would think, but I'm very, very proud of our banana. Yeah. See, Mister, my life, my troubles is a, a big guy, and he loves Senorita banana, which are very tiny. Like he loves his wife, he says she's tiny. He loves tiny stuff. Oh, well, we don't want to get into that now. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's true. You love me, right? Yes, I love you. And I'm you. tiny. You always yes. say that. Yes. And you're, you love tiny bananas. I say you? you're small, not tiny. You say I'm tiny. Petite. Petite? Yes. Yes. You always yeah. say I'm skinny, but I'm not. I'm, I'm big now. Yeah, right. Yeah. I have big, very big feet, look, mm -hmm. very big feet, mm -hmm. and be careful, this will bite you, look at this, be careful, mm -hmm. it will bite you, good, so <laughs> this is a tiny banana, you know, okay. let me eat a piece. We shall demonstrate eating bananas in the Philippines, So, eating banana 101, <laughs> boom. <laughs> crashes to the floor. <laughs> okay, they are more soft now. They are softer now. <laughs> Banana mush. Mush, mush. Mush, mush. mush. So, so this is how you peel a banana in the Philippines. So, Just like you peel it anywhere else. So, like that. But, some people do this. So, no. Just twist it. Yeah, some people. All you gotta do is easier. Some people do this. Some people do this. Uh oh, looks like the guys are here for the. Uh, are those the guys that Isn't put Isn't it so cute? Very cute. Where Sorry, else people. needs to be eaten? But looks like the guys are here that's gonna start working okay. on the Oi. balcony upstairs. Very good. Very, very good. I like that. Thank you so much. Those the guys are gonna start on the balcony upstairs. So sorry for the interruption, but this is a construction project. Hey, you're gonna put that on video, dear. Why they do that? Yeah? My boss has instructed me to do what I'm already doing. So we have another work crew that just showed up. That will be doing all kinds of things. So we'll have two crews. There's my man working away up there. Yes, baby. So, uh, yes. Did you take photo of this this thing here? No, I didn't. This is very good. Look. Just a minute, sweetheart. You want me to take pictures of uh, chopped up coconuts? <laughs> so, my nephew picked this this morning, took this down the tree, because my sister Nori, if she thinks she has, she has, uh, uh, please. she misses it, so, she misses it, so, and she likes me to, to eat fresh coconut, very young coconut. I miss it also so long. I haven't been eating this for so long. And my husband says, no, don't eat coconut now. Yeah. I love to eat coconut. That's and not correct. 
Wait. I just don't like the look. It's not my thing. So, but it's not your thing. This is mine. You think I will give some to you? No. If you're foreign and you come to the Philippines, one thing you got to realize: Filipinos assume everything that they I don't like. Say that now. Everything that they like, you like too. No. That's not what we do. So next time I eat something, I wouldn't even offer you anything. Do it your own and, and do it, yeah? Do it yourself, DIY. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it's delicious, but I'm more used to the coconut when it's all dried out. I don't care if you don't eat it and you don't like it, but I care that and I thank you that I, that means I have more. <laughs> She's mad at me now. What? What? Baby, I didn't say I did not like it. I just say it's just, just not something I crave. Look. <laughs> like, you love rice? I love french fries. <laughs> you see the difference? <laughs> but why aren't you uh, planting potatoes? <laughs> Because, if you love plant slice. Because you can just go to McDonald's. <laughs> if you love plant slice, then, then plant potatoes. <laughs> All right. What's next on the agenda? I have to go upstairs and, and show so you. So we'll take a break. So we're going up to check on the workers. Little negotiations going on. Yeah. Yeah. So you see the supervisor at work. They're putting the, the aluminum door and drawer. Yeah. So they are fixing something in the bathroom, some door, or installing. I need a towel, but this is what the town looks like from above. I don't think I ever did a video here. To show what it looks like up here. Philippines is very green. That's one thing I, I love about it. Very green. If we had a third floor, you could see the mountains. You could even see the volcano that's in Angeles from here is very tall and very flat here. <laughs> so I need to get a towel. I'm sweating away. I think they're debating on the sink here. Okay. Let me just we'll take a little pause for now. So as you see, that's why my wife is extending. Because it's a lot of things going on with the house. It's I call it we're kinda in the end game now of finishing up a lot of things. Yesterday she uh, already purchased three beds to put in the bedrooms for my two daughters. You know, even though our oldest daughter is married, we still build a room for her. 
whenever she wants to stay overnight. So that will be her, her family's room with whatever they want to do. So nobody will occupy that. And then bought a bed for, you know, youngest daughter, oldest daughter, and her sister for her room. So I'm not going to spend a lot on furnishings at this point. We're just going to get the bare necessities that we need. And once we actually move here, I retire, then that's when we'll go out and pick some nice stuff out for the living room. Because we don't want just anything. We really want some nice stuff. Buy it now. So I'll give her some money and let her go crazy on that. The only thing I really want out of the whole deal is get myself a nice little truck. You know, you need transportation, not buying a tricycle. <laughs> you can't drive it in the rain. So that's going to be for later. So, so just to recap, the biggest projects that we're starting is once they finish with the balcony over there, I really want them to start on the fence. We need a security fence. We need our privacy. This house is very big and lots of prying eyes. People think we're millionaires. We're not. You know, just spending my money the right way. That's all we're doing. We're spending it the right way. Investing in the future so we have a nice place. All right. That's enough rambling from my side. So, uh, we'll see what else happens today. Bye now, y'all. Take care.